Hey Nono Leafers, greetings! Um, it was like two days ago, uh, one member in the community um, was a little surprised that you can edit and change and, and create scenes uh, for, for our panels and uh, asked me how to do it. So here's one, a little tutorial on how to uh, create, edit and uh, well, delete scenes as well. Okay, so um, I'm using this circuit here on top of my head, okay, that's uh, that I'm going to be using. And now let's let's describe. We can have basically four scenes in our panels. The basic one, which is you select one color and all the panels are going to be that color. That's the, the, the most uh, simple one of them, okay. Then you can have a paint where you create a palette of colors and then you select each panel what color should it be playing and it's going to be static they don't change they don't vary okay then you have got the dynamic uh, which varies and changes according to the palette that you create with it and then you have got the rhythm which is the same uh, but reacting to music okay so first of all what is a scene a scene is uh, a color and an effect. Not for the paint. The paint and the uh, uh, basic one, they are just a, a palette that you select. But now the, the other two, the dynamic and the rhythm, is basically an effect and a palette that you, you want to use. The combination of those two makes a scene. Okay? So let me show you here. I'm going to start by doing a basic one. Um, you go from your uh, home screen on your on your um, on your app. I'm using the Android app. It's the same thing on the iOS. You select a controller that you want to play with. And here now I want to create a basic scene. So here I click on that, and say I want to have it a blue. And yeah, that's basically all of it. And I save it. I give it here tutorial uh, basic, save it, and that's it. You can see already behind me, it's already on the color that uh, while you're editing a scene, everything that you are playing with it while editing, it's happening on the panels already. So if you create a palette, you're, you're going to see that the colors are already showing up there, especially, especially on the paint and the basic ones. Okay, so let me change it over to another scene so you can see the, uh, the, the migration. So you're going to select your blood. It's a blood dripping. It's a very red um, scene. It's a dynamic scene. And I'm going to go back here to the, uh, to the basic scene that we just created. I will just create it here. I'm going to dim it a little bit down so you can see on the camera here. That's the new, uh, the new scene. The... The flashing that you are seeing, it's the camera. Uh, if you were here looking at them, there would not be flashing like that. It's really the camera, the CC, the CC sensor of the camera uh, goes in harmonics with the frequency of the LED. So don't think that this is flashing here. On my eyes, this is a solid color, okay? So that's how you create a basic scene. Um, now I'm gonna show you how, how to create a paint. And to do that, I'm gonna first have to delete the scene that I just created because I maxed out on scenes and uh, so I, I had to delete one scene so I can show you this to you. To delete you slide over to the left and then you have got these three options here and I'm going to use the bucket and there we go. Let's delete the scene, I click delete and there we go, the scene is gone. Okay, now I'm going to create a paint scene. Same thing, I'm going to select your scene I want a paint and now it's going to ask me what palette do you want to use I have got a whole bunch of palettes that I created from all my scenes but I want to actually show you how to make a new one so I'm going to click here on add palette and let's start this way um, yes I like this red one um, this is the color that you're currently creating okay so I'm going to leave this one. I like this red one. I'm going to now add another one. I click here on the plus and another box opens. 
and let's say here I want to do a more blue color dark blue and I'm happy with that that's cool I'm gonna add click on plus and on plus and another box opens and here I want to go a bit more on the green side and a yellow let's make it nice and yellow one okay I add let's add more one color and this one I'm gonna make it uh, like a a bit of a light light blue like sky blue okay so I create my 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 four colors that I want to add for the scene I go here onto save okay and I want to I need to give a name to it so is the uh, uh, tutorial paint uh, palette Oopsie. and I save it and you are back again to that list remember you're still uh, creating one scene so you're back to the first step now you created a new palette and now you're gonna choose it um, find it again well, what was the name that I gave here no it's uh, oh I forgot the name that I gave it. <laughs> tutorial paint palette there we go I select the palette that I want to use and now your circuit your, your panel design is going to show up with the palette and now you can choose. Uh, let's start here with a, this, this uh, light green or uh, cyan blue, whatever. I want this panel, that one here, that one there. This one here in this color. Let's select the yellow one. I want this one here, that, that one there, here. And say that one. On this yellow i want now to create the blue one i'm gonna add in here boom 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 okay and the rest one i want to make it with the red one. Oh, oh i've got here not a bit too much blue so i'm gonna here change this this blue here to the red one and now if you can see here it's already the panels are already on the color that I selected. This happens dynamically. So while you are editing or creating a, a, a scene, it's already happening. So you can uh, program here on your on your app and uh, see the result at the same time. Okay. So here, if I am, I am I, I'm happy with this design. That's what I want. So I can here I, pre, I save it. <clears throat> I'm gonna give it a name tutorial. Uh, paint okay save it here I'm back again to the list of my uh, my scenes I'm gonna select another one just for you to see the the migration from one to the other I'm gonna select sunny I'm gonna dim it down a little bit otherwise the camera is gonna be just showing, showing white and here now I'm gonna go and select the tutorial paint that I just created okay there we are and you can see now the panels are there on that design that i created now i'm going to do the same i'm going to delete the scene make space again and now i'm going to create a dynamic scene okay so dynamic is now a palette and effect okay to build one scene i'm going to select here scene I'm going to say I want to do a dynamic one. The same thing again. It's going to ask me um, what palette do you want to use. <clears throat> I'm going to create a new one. Same thing again. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go a little bit on the dark side and make a dark red and add. Then I'm going to put here, let's go here to the blue and make it a very strong yeah there we go add another one and uh, select this greenish here that's now there yeah about that that's cool add another one go to the yellow yellow side of things and here we go i'm gonna create a palette with four colors so it's cool i'm gonna i'm happy with it i'm gonna save it and give it a name here tutorial um, dynamic uh, dynamic uh, palette okay and I save it I'm back again into the list of the palette I'm back to the, the first question you know what palette do you want to use I created one now I have to select it 
and here we go it's the tutorial dynamic palette i'm gonna select it it's selected now I, it's asking me what uh, effect do i want to use as you can see here i have got these uh, let me show you here I've got these scenes for rhythm and these scenes, uh, actually, sorry, these effects for rhythm and these effects here for dynamic. Okay, this is here a rhythm, okay, and this is a dynamic one. All right, so I'm going to choose, let's say, flow. I said I want to do a dynamic scene. And as you can see here, there are this little uh, sound sign here which gives me the options for that scene. So here now I'm going to select it. And on the flow, so on the uh, flow effect, I have got a couple of things I can play with. The speed of the flow, the delay that it takes from one color to the next one, okay, the direction of it, and if it's a loop or not. If it if I deselect loop, it's gonna run the full the full course of the palette and then stop on stop on the last color. It's not gonna keep on going. Uh, there are some reasons for that. I have got some scenes that I use, okay, for my, mostly to make my videos, but here for keeping a constant flow of thing, it's nicer to have it on the loop on. Let's say here, let's make it a quick one, running quickly on the around. And I'm going to use actually almost no delay, just a little one. Okay. I want, yeah, and the direction is going to do it this way. Okay. Once it's done, again, it's, uh, I'm finished here. I'm going to click back, save it, and here, Tutorial uh, dynamic. Oopsie. Okay, and I save it. It's going to come back to the, the whole list of uh, scenes that I have. And as you can see, I'm going to just dim it down a little bit. It's already happening there. You can see behind my head, it's flowing between those, those four colors. Okay, so that's how you create an, a dynamic scene. And lastly, I'm going to create now a rhythm scene. First, I have to make some space again, and I delete my dynamic one. Okay. And I want to create a new scene. So there we go. Select as well dynamic scene. Same steps as before. Uh, it's asking me what palette to use. Um, this time, I'm going to use a palette that I already I already uh, use, so I'm going to here uh, use the firework uh, chakra pyramid. It's already there. Now it's going to ask me what uh, effect I want to use, what uh, rhythm effect. You know, I want to do a rhythm scene right now. So you have got the whole selection of choices here. Um, let's go and take the firmament. Again, you have got as well the three dots in here which tells you the options but let me tell you one thing for the rhythm scenes there are very few that has got actually options and you can see here it's gonna tell you oh the uh, awakenings does not have uh, any options so I, I don't know why they show this there it's a by default okay uh, that's it so I'm gonna go back I selected the firmament as you can see now the panels are already playing the scene as it is right now, before saving, okay? The palette that I chose and the uh, effect that I chose to it. If I'm happy with it, that's what I want. I Again, I save it. Tutor tutorial um, Rhythm. Save it. And I'm get back again here. To the uh, list of scenes that I have. I'm going to change here to another one uh, just to, for you to see again the, the transition. Let me dim down again a little bit here. So, okay, there we go. 
This is now the Firmament of Rainbow, uh, a scene of mine. And if I go here, Tutorial Rhythm, I'm selecting that I selected now. And there you see, this is now that scene that, I, that we created. Okay. Now, how, to, how do I change? How, to, how can I edit a scene that's already there? So let me do this here. I'm going to slide to the left the scene that I just created, Tutorial uh, Rhythm. I'm going to choose the pencil and I'm going that then again into the edit mode. And let's say, um, remember I was using rhythm. And let's say now, uh, no, I don't want to use firmament. I want to use something else. Let me select streaking note. And there we go. I already changed the effect. You can see uh, the panels are already on the streaking note mode okay and i'm happy with it now so right i save it i want to save the keep the same name um i guess i want to overwrite okay and here we go so now the the, the tutorial rhythm is not a uh, what was it before firmament it's now a uh, streaking note all right now if you have more than one controller. If you've got uh, two or more controllers in your design, in your setup. Let's say I'm happy with the scene and I want all the other panels or a portion of the other, of the other circuits to play that scene, okay? And this is what you can do here. You slide it to the left. Then you click here on the three dots. And here you go, share to other panels. I click on that and the list of the uh, um, controllers are going to be shown. Uh, they are showing here right now not reachable because they are all switched off. Uh, all of my rig is actually switched off. I ho only have these these two circuits here on. Um, the other one is the wing left up forward ground. That would be this one here. See that is already showing. This is the then the the, the uh, circuit that's above my head that is free. I would try to, to, to share it, but I know it's not going to work because I'm maxed out of scenes on that one. So if I click it here um, and share it, it's going to tell me the maximum number of scenes are there. I cannot share it. All right. So it's a limit on the Aurora panels. They only take 50 scenes between... Uh, the basic, the paint, dynamic, and um, rhythm, you can have maximum 50 scenes. Okay, so here we go. Let me see if there is any other feature here that you can look at. Uh, yeah, basically here is no, make new paint scene, dynamic scene, or you can also rename, you can share it. Um, there is one more option that, uh, oh, I like it cool and I want to share with other people. The, this this uh, uh, scene that I just created. So here I can select to upload to discover. Okay. It's going to go up there. It's going to give you a tutorial rhythm. I can give some text here. Um, telling a little bit of what the scene is. And then if I now click here on post. That scene is going to be uploaded, uploaded to discover. Then you can tell your friends by the name that you just uploaded for them to search and then they can download it and have it as well. All right. Okay. I think that is, that is all there is about. I hope this was uh, helpful to you. If you have got any questions, just pop a line in, in, uh, in your comments. And uh, yeah, I, uh, I will be glad to answer to you. Have a good evening. Bye-bye.